Namaste. Welcome to Math Vidushi and Agastya Gurukulam. When we hear the word Ganitam, it be related with counting. Ganitam indeed started with counting. But later, Bharatiya Ganitam branched into Vyakta Ganitam and Avyakta Ganitam. Vyakta Ganitam means the operations uh, or the Ganitam that is performed on known numbers. And Avyakta Ganitam were the operations that were performed on the unknown numbers that is uh, algebra and equations. Ganitam is not a physical science. Ganitam is an abstract representation of the real world. So, Ganitam is as beautiful as the reality and limitless. However, everyone who likes mathematics is not a mathematician, but everyone who practices Ganitam with devotion, hard work and sincerity can become a mathematician. In a grantha called Ganita Sara Sangraha, written in 850 CE by uh, Mahaviracharya, he lists uh, the Ashtagunas, the eight characteristics a person um, should uh, possess in order to be called a mathematician. He says, Lagu karano ha pohana lasya grahana dharano payaihi vyakti karanka vishishtaihi gana koshta bhir gunair gyeyaha. He says, Ganaka is a mathematician, Gyeyaha is known by his Ashtagunas or the eight characteristics. A mathematician is known by his eight characteristics. What are the characteristics? Lagukaranam, Uha, Apoha, Analasyam, Grahanam, Dharanam, Upayaha and Vyaktikaranka. So what do they mean? Lagukaranam is to be able to simplify difficult problems and find the shortest or the fastest method to solve the problem. Uha is to uh, find the correct method, the correct range of answers of a problem. Or apoha is to the ability to reject wrong methods and wrong answers. Analasyam is probably the most important for every ganaka that is practice hard work and be mindful when we are practicing. Grahanam is to be aware of all the concepts of Ganitam and to be able to recall it at the right moment is the Dharanam, the ability to uh, apply these uh, concepts uh, and uh, get an idea and get a method to find the solution is Upayaha and Vyakti Karankaha is the ability to be able to represent in mathematical notation the problem and to be able to solve it using both Avyakta and Vyakta Ganita and the methods of solving the problem. So a mathematician is known by these eight qualities. Whoever has all these eight qualities can solve even the most difficult questions in Ganitam. So anyone can become a mathematician. Mahaviracharya in Ganita Sara Sangraha in 850 CE says this. Laghu karano ha pohana lasya grahana dharano payaihi vyakti karanka vishishtair ganakoshta bhir gunair gyeyaha. Namaste.